this is Brother Yama Dabadu having a good day to have a good day and a beautiful Sunday Sunday afternoon here and learn about the letter Nun. It's a wonderful letter of the Hebrew alphabet. A lot of wisdom and a lot of revelation is coming forth today. So let's bow our heads in prayer and pray for our people and all the people in Bible, okay? Father, we thank you and praise you today. We give you glory and honor. We thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you for the new year that we're in. 5781, God, we just thank you for the Hebrew letters, God, when you spoke things into existence. This is the creation week, Father, and you spoke your language into the atmosphere, and we're learning of your beautiful languages of the 22 letters of the Hebrew alphabet. We pray for the America. We pray for the leaders of our nation. We pray for our neighbors, our friends, our relatives. We pray for our mothers and our fathers, our cousins. We give you praise and glory and honor, God. Thank you for this day, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Hello, and welcome once again to Venice United Methodist Church, Children's Church. My name is Miss Nellie, and I have the wonderful honor and privilege to be your teacher again today. I hope you all had a wonderful week with your family, with your parents and your, your brothers and sisters and those of you who are back in school. I hope you had a wonderful time in school. And I know some of you are still doing your classes on Zoom. I hope you enjoyed your teacher and your classmates on your Zoom class. Well, let's see if we have Polly with us again today. Polly, are you here? Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. I'm here. Hello, Miss Polly. Hi, Polly. How are you today? I missed you too, Polly. Hi, you... everyone. Yes. Did you have a nice weekend, Polly? Yes, I did. I did. Did you Did you do schoolwork? Oh yes. I have I have to do my work on the computer. It's a little computer though. It's called uh, what's that called again? A laptop. Yeah. Oh, very good, Polly. Yeah. Very good. Well, I sat down today with my friend Chia, and she came back. Oh, Chia! Hi! Hello, Chia! Hi, teacher! We're so glad to have you with us again. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> so Thank you, Polly. Thank you, teacher. Hi, everybody! <laughs> well, we so enjoyed having you last time, and, and we know that you've been watching from home when you haven't been with us. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Well, anyway, hello everyone. Um, those of you who are tuning in with us the first time, we've been learning all about the Hebrew alphabet. We learned that there are 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet and that God created the world with the Hebrew alphabet. We learned that the Hebrew alphabet has a number, a symbol, which is a picture and a meaning to it. We also learn that the Hebrew alphabet is read from right to left instead of from left to right. And that in Hebrew, there's no capital letters and small letters, but they do have cursive letters like fancy writing, just like we do in English. Yeah. Wow. That's right. The Hebrew alphabet also has what's called mother letters. There are three of these letters. They are called mother letters because they represent air, fire, and water. Wow! I never got lost That's right, we learned that last week. And some of the Hebrew letters we found out change their shape at the end of a word. These are what's called the final letters. And there are five final letters in the Hebrew alphabet. We also learn that some of the letters are spoken from the back of the throat. They call those guttural. That's like the ha, 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 spoken, het, 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 Okay, praise God. Well, we've learned quite a bit about the Hebrew alphabet. Yeah. So let's recite all the letters that we've learned so far. Chia, Polly, will you help recite the letters with yeah, me as I count yeah, them up? Yeah. Okay. Aleph, Bet, Gimel, 
dale, he, var, sein, het, te, yo, kaf, lame, mem. Good job, you two. Wow. Do you remember the name of the letter that we learned just last week? Yeah, teacher, I remember. It is mem. A mem stands for water, and water is really, really important. That's right, Polly. Good job. Are there any other things that you remember about the letter mem? How about our family at home? Do you remember anything about the letter mem? Oh, me, me, me. Oh, yes. I remember, I remember that mem has two shapes, one open and one closed shape. Yeah, you're right. Open. That's right. And you're open. And you're open. And then is everything we can see, oh, everything no. we can touch, mm -hmm. and then the closed man is everything we cannot see, that we can see God. Oh, that's right, Polly. Oh, very good, very good. Anything oh, else? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. I remember. Yes, Tia. That meal tries and not and never quits. It never quits. That's right. That's never. great. Never yeah. try and try again. Yeah, Mim never quits. Yeah. Well, Mim tells us that God is with us always, mm -hmm. even though we cannot see Him and we cannot touch Him. Yeah, God loves us so much. Uh -huh. He yeah. sure does. God really does love us so much. I'm glad that God loves all of us so much. And we can be sure of God's love. We don't have to worry or ask, does God really love us? Because he really, really does love us. Yeah. yeah. He does. He does. <laughs> he does. Well, let us move on for our lesson for today. Today we're going to learn another Hebrew letter. The letter is called Noon. Can you say it with me? Noon. Noon. Noon is the 14th letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And the numerical number of Noon is 50. The symbol or picture of Noon is a fish. A fish. And noon is one of the letters in the Hebrew alphabet that changes its shape when it gets to the end of a word. Wow. That group that we call the final letters. Oh, there are five final letters in the Hebrew alphabet. Teacher, yes. I'm learning how to add and how to subtract, but this week I'm learning how to add. Um, is the, the five final letters, are they added to the 22 letters? Because if they are added, well, I don't know if they are there. <laughs> Polly, I'm sure glad to know that you're learning to add. And thank you so much for catching that. Yes, they are added, and you're right, there are more than 22 letters when we add the five final letters. Do you know how many letters there are uh, all I together? Do, I do, yeah. I do. It's 27. <gasps> That's right. You really are learning to add, aren't you? Yeah. So we can say the Hebrew alphabet has 22 letters and five final letters because the letters are the same. The only difference is the shape at the end of the word. Oh, okay. So let us continue today with the letter noon. The two shapes of noon is bent and straight. The bent noon represents someone kneeling before God in prayer. Hmm. The one that's devoted in worship and honor of God. One who is dependent on God totally and totally and completely for everything. Oh, boy. You know what? Sometimes I kneel down in my bed and I pray like noon. Oh, that's awesome, Chia. You kneel and pray. I like to kneel in prayer as well. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I do too. Oh, that's very good, you two. Well, that's like noon. 
Noon is humble and not selfish. Noon does not think too highly of self and does not put others down. Noon is faithful and true, a true servant. That noon is a servant doesn't mean that noon is in bondage or a slave. Noon is not serving because of being forced to serve, but serving out of a heart of love. Wow. That's nice. Noon is a servant who leads by example. Noon knows how to be a good leader. And to be a good leader, you must first learn how to be a true servant. Jesus served his disciples. He washed their feet. He made food for them like he cooked them fish. <laughs> Jesus agreed with Noon when Jesus said that whoever wants to be a leader must first become a servant. Oh, teacher, could yes. it be like a woman? Remember how woman said we have to learn first and we have to learn it well so we can teach other people. Well, you're right. When we learn how to serve, we can teach others and we can lead others. The final noon is long and tall, reaching up and getting below. This is one who stands to receive from God, to bring the kingdom of God down to the earth, just as it is in heaven. Final noon is about filling the earth with the knowledge of God. You know, the scripture says that the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God, just as the waters cover the sea. Wow. Noon is about revealing the glory, the grace, and the goodness of God in the world mm -hmm. through our worship and our obedience to God's commands and all of God's laws. Um. Noon, as fish, means to reproduce and to multiply. God says that we should be fruitful and multiply. Noon carries seeds for generations. When you plant a seed, it grows and produces, and it gives you more seed. Yeah. Wow. Noon is about being fruitful and multiplying and replenishing the earth. Yeah. You know, my dad reads to me, a story about a boy who had two fish with Jesus, and they multiplied. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I remember the fish, the fish story that my dad and mom read to me about when Jesus called a lot of fish or made a lot of fish to come to his disciples in their boat. So they caught it with their neck, and it was heavy, and it was almost too heavy for them. Oh, yes, I remember those stories. I like those stories, too. Jesus multiplied fish many times in the Bible. We who love God are called and charged to multiply the seed of God's love and the seed of God's goodness in the world. Noon is a name Hebrew people gave the coming of Messiah. The early church used fish to identify themselves. The using of fish to identify themselves and by using fish as a symbol, the early Christians were saying to the rest of the people of Israel that Jesus Christ is the Messiah, the Savior of the world, and they are Jesus' followers. Wow! Teacher, do they carry fish everywhere they go? Well, they didn't carry fish everywhere they went, but sometimes they drew fish in the sand or on paper, and sometimes they made fish ornaments and symbols. Oh. Noon's numerical value is 50. On the 50th day after the Hebrew people left Egypt, God gave them his Torah, his commandments. By receiving the Torah, or the commandments of God, the Hebrew people agreed and promised to be God's servants for the rest of the world. Wow. That is, they agreed to teach God's commands 
and to teach God's ways and about God's love to all the rest of the people in the world so they can have knowledge of God. They humbled themselves and took on God's servanthood, the assignment for the whole world. Every 50 years is called a jubilee. A jubilee is a year when farmland is given rest and any slaves or any servants are set free. Why did God use noon? Noon is about freedom. God wants us to know that our freedom comes from Him only. And only those who know God, those who love and worship God, they can experience true freedom. I love God. Oh, yes, I love God, too. Well, that's the end of our lesson for today. I hope you learned something today. I learned something as well. I love learning all about the Hebrew alphabet. But don't go away, those of you out there. We'll be right back with our summary and with our activity for the day. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Hi, as our activity for today, have your mom or dad print out the letter noon for you. And that way you can trace over it with your crayons or color pencils. And you'll learn how to write the letter noon the regular noon, and the final noon. Also, let's draw some fish, the symbol for the letter noon. Have fun with it, and send us a picture if you like. God bless. Bye-bye. Welcome to our summary. I'm so glad that you are with us today. We've been learning all about the Hebrew alphabet. Today we learn about the letter Nun. Nun is the 12th letter in the Hebrew alphabet and it has a numerical value of 50. We learn that Nun is one of those letters that changes its shape at the end of a word. The ones that we call the final letters. Noon has a bent shape and a straight shape. The bent shape of the noon represents those who are humble and bow before God and worship God and serve God in worship and honor to God. But noon also stands up straight to receive from the heavens and brings down to the earth. Noon teaches us to be a servant, to love one another and to serve one another and to spread the goodness of God, because noon is about multiplying and replenishing, just like God called us to multiply his goodness and replenish the earth with his love and his goodness and kindness. We learn so much about the number noon. Noon is a wonderful letter of God of the Hebrew alphabet. Why did God use the letter noon? Noon is about freedom. Well, as part of our, su our summary for today, we decided to do something new, to add some questions just to help us with our learning. You ready? Okay. I want you to look at these letters and tell me, can you find the letter Noon? Did you say this one? That's right, you're correct. Very good, good job. Okay, next question. Which is the final letter known? This one? Or this one? Or this one? If you pick this one, that's correct. Very good. Good job. You're learning well. 
Last question. Which one is the symbol for the letter noon? Awesome job, family. Great job. You're learning well, and you're on a good road learning all of the Hebrew alphabet. God bless you, and see you next week.